Hello everyone, uh, Nissan Maxima A36, uh, very popular uh, car produced in North America, and uh, never was selling in the Europe, in the Russia, and in the Australia, uh, nowhere, uh, only North America. Uh, well, uh, this video about our new software update, uh, as you can see, uh, a few points are unavailable. Why? Uh, because the SD card was lost. Uh, what our software update do? The first is we can activate CarPlay. Uh, Android Auto will be very very soon. Uh, we work on it. Uh, uh, the second step is that uh, while you will do this, this update, you will uh, restore the SD card and will get uh, all, all the functions on your system. Uh, and if you own this car uh, but you live in Europe, in Australia, uh, we can install uh, Navy Maps uh, of your country uh, because from the factory uh, uh, this system has uh, the North American uh, maps only. Uh, well, here you can see the speaker only and the power wiring. I showed it for no comments that we uh, connected uh, add-on system uh, which translating uh, the picture no this is the factory head unit and connected the speaker only and the uh, the power well the software update is remote uh, no need to disassemble solder your system uh, just the update via SD card. Also, now I will show you. Uh, we also connected uh, the USB input. Now I connect iPhone. No CarPlay. And now we'll do the same but with Android. Boom. the same as I told uh, we can activate uh, CarPlay and very very soon will be activated Android Auto uh, how to do that I will show you right now the first step after purchase is to burn the SD card how to do that I will show you right now so what do we have now? You paid us and then we sent to you an ING file. Now you have to download an HDD raw copy tool application. You can do it on the developer's website hddguru.com. Choose the version 1.10 setup, choose the folder where do you want to save it and click save. Now we have to run the setup application. Click open and run. Click next, choose the folder and choose an extra option if you want it. Then next again and install. So it is already installed. Click finish and now you have to connect to your computer and SD card it has to be formatted and for 16 gigabytes now run the application click open and 
Now you have to choose source. Please make sure that it is source. The source is img file we sent to you. Now click continue. Now we have to choose the target. The target is an SD card you already connected. Check and make sure that it is an SD card. And please again make sure that the source is an IMG file and the target is an SD card formatted for 16 gigabytes. So now we can start. Click start. Yes. And wait for a few minutes. So it is all ready. Recorded. Now you can see the task complete and now you have to eject an SD card. Check what have to be installed and eject it. And follow the next instructions. Well, uh, we burned the SD card. We recommend to use SanDisk or Kingston 32 gigabytes, and also we recommend to use uh, the full size SD, not a micro SD card with uh, adapter. So the firmware is burned, and now uh, we can insert it. As you can see, uh, the process ran automatically, and now we just have to wait around 10 minutes. Uh, you, you got the latency file, uh, now you have to just uh, insert uh, the SD card back. Uh, activating the latency takes a few minutes uh, uh, and depends uh, on the work hours. Of the seller. Uh, if you uh, purchase direct uh, from us, uh, it will take a few minutes if we are open. Uh, so please keep it in mind. Uh, a lot of questions. Uh, uh, can I turn the ignition off when I see the QR code? Yes, you can. The main thing is that the ignition must be on uh, while flashing. Well, flashing the uh, update uh, because uh, if the ignition is turned off, uh, the head unit uh, may go to the uh, power safe mode, and uh, the installation process will be stopped. So now we just have to insert the SD card. Uh, well. Everything is fine. Uh, now you see just the red arrow without the uh, set of maps because of no GPS position. But now you can see all the uh, points are active and Apple CarPlay. Info menu, 
as I told earlier, we can install uh, Navi Maps of Europe or Australia and New Zealand, uh, uh, Arabian, uh, Saudi Arabia. So let's let's do the main thing is the CarPlay, the very popular function in the modern car. Done. Google Maps, Messages, Apple Music, YouTube Music, WhatsApp, Viber, uh, Waze. All the CarPlay applications are available for you now. Uh, well, uh, while we was filming and rendering this video, we released a new update. The update with Android Auto. So now we can see it in the settings. The boot logo was the same. It is our software. We connected the phone and have to do a few steps. Yes. Setting up on the phone. Well done. Now we have Android Auto. This update uh, is free for those who purchased our software earlier. So you can uh, contact us and get the latest version. Well, if you want to do the same with your car, uh, feel free to contact us. Our contacts you can find in the description. Mm -hmm. All the links, all the feedbacks. Uh, you can find on our Facebook page. Uh, we can do the same with uh, Nissan Murano, a third generation Z52, uh, Nissan uh, Altima, Nissan Maxima, and Nissan Leaf. Stay safe. Bye bye.